Good evening, Pecoholic friends. This is one of my Panache trees. I've got two of them, one here and one there, and it could be called Burgessote Panache, too. Uh, Rick, remember now, it's Panache, not Panache. And it should be spelled with two E's, but it's been pretty well accepted in the United States to spell it with one E in the end. Now, this is... Um, Bordeso Blanca Ramada, and some people insist that they're different. Pons list them as synonyms. This fig is not quite ripe, um, but I want one to compare to a panache. So let's go ahead and try this one here. It did drip some honey from it as I squeezed it there. So here's the pulp. It should get darker red than this. This is um, probably two days from being fully ripe. See, this is, I, I know I saw one that was ripe in here a minute ago. Let me find it again now. Very productive tree for me. Um, down in Madeira, the largest fig grower in the world, um, I forget if they have another name, specialty foods or whatever, they grow 160 acres of panache and they didn't plant more because they weren't very productive, they said, but I thought it's quite productive. Oh, right here. Now this one here, unfortunately the birds got this already, so, but we can take a look at it still. I'm not going to bothered eating it because it was damaged by the bird. <clears throat> it's got some bugs coming at it because the bird opened it up. But um, it's the same shape, same stripes. Um, and you know, I know when fully ripe, I consider it very much like a rich strawberry jam. Again, this is Panache and Bordeso Blanca Romana. Thanks for watching.